Today, India is the largest film producer in the world, with an annual output of almost 2,000 films. It is a 105-year-old industry that has reinvented itself several times. Dundi Raj Govind Dadasai Palkis, Raja Harishchandra is regarded as India's first film. This is so due to the fact that prior to Raja Harishchandra, the British were involved one way or the other. Either they made the film or may have contributed to the camera or post-processing as with another famous film of the time, Pundalik. Raja Harishchandra was the first film with an all Indian cast and crew, thus making the film industry independent from the British in a way. This independence was a significant milestone. The early days of Indian cinema witnessed films solely based on mythological stories. In 1931, Ardeshir Irani released Alam Ara. Its song and dance helped it become a success and would later become a vital part of most Indian films. In 1935, Mary Evans became the first foreign national to star in an Indian film. In 1937, Adeshir Irani once again created history by producing India's first ever indigenously made color film, Kisan Kanya. In 1946, Nicha Nagar was the first Indian film to win a Palm d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival. By the 1950s, Indian films such as Avara gained popularity in Soviet Russia and China. In 1957, Mother India helped India reach a more global audience with its Oscar nomination. A 120-minute version was later distributed in the US and UK by Columbia Pictures. The film came close to winning the Academy Award but lost to Federico Fellini's Knights of Caribbean by a single vote. In 1975, Ramesh Sippi's Shole was India's first Western. When the movie released, it received a lukewarm response. A last-minute change was made to the film that helped it break several records. The central character of Jay, portrayed by Amitabh Bachchan, was killed in the climax, an unusual thing to do back then. In 1992, Satyajit Ray won India's first Oscar. Ray well, uh, was awarded the Academy Award for his outstanding contributions to the film industry. He received this magnificent award, certainly the best achievement of my movie-making career. Between the 1940s and 60s, considered to be the golden era, these films mainly express social themes dealing with the working class life of Indian society. Mother India was an important film in this aspect and defined the conventions of film back then. The 1950s witnessed the emergence of a parallel cinema movement. It was mainly in Bengali cinema but managed to carry its permanence into Hindi cinema as well. Hindi cinema by the 70s had faced thematic stagnation dominated by musical romance films. Salim Javed as a duo started a new genre and were responsible for a new wave in Hindi cinema. 
द बॉम्बे अंडरवर्ल्ड क्राइम फिल्म फेंके हुए पैसे नहीं उठाता I'm sorry. They interpreted the rural themes in a contemporary urban context reflecting the socio-economic and socio-political climate of the time. Ye police station hai tumhare baap ka ghar nahi. They emphasized on the growing discontent among the masses. This resulted in the creation of the angry young man personified by Amitabh Bachchan and giving a voice to the angst of the urban poor. Tum log mujhe dhoond rahe ho aur main tumhara By the mid 70s, romantic films were now replaced with more violent films. It was during this time that the masala genre was born, a genre that comprised of action, comedy, romance, drama, melodrama, and musical. However, producers like Shyam Benegal, Ketan Mehta, Govind Nehlani, and others continued to produce realistic films in the parallel cinema the late 80s saw an other drastic change in the way films were made with the release of kayamat se kayamat tak This set a new template for romantic films and was used throughout the 90s. Tum to apni puri zindagi ek aise aadmi ke sath guzarne wali ho jiske tumne aaj tak shakal bhi nahi dekhi. This is also the time Satya was released. The critical and commercial success of Satya led to the emergence of a new genre called Mumbai Noir. Election jitaya kaun? Biku Matre. मुंबई का किंग कौन बिकू मात्रे आफ्टर द टू थाउजेंड वी सॉ अ ग्रोथ इन इंडियन इकोनॉमी एंड डिमांड फॉर क्वालिटी एंटरटेनमेंट दिस लेड द नेशन फिल्म मेकिंग टू न्यू हाइट्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन वैल्यूज सिनेमाटोग्राफी एंड इनोवेटिव स्टोरी लाइन्स एज वेल एज टेक्निकल एडवांसेज सच एज बी एफ एक्स एंड एनिमेशन सो दिस वॉज अ ब्रीफ हिस्ट्री of Indian cinema mainly Hindi cinema right from its independence to being the world's largest producer and increasingly gaining popularity around the world among non Hindi speakers aise pyar ka ho pagalpan ya mere dil ki dhadkan mili ek hi baat hai we believe that other sectors also have this potential and in a few years india would be the nation we always dreamt about This video was posted on the 15th of August 2018 India's 72nd Independence Day Happy Independence Day to all of you If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more such videos we intend to cover other major industries of India and the world in the future so hit that bell icon to be notified